Toad and the Whale. On the Little Western Branch Line, Toad the Brave Fan loves to sing whenever they go down the coastal track. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Douglas, Donald, and Oliver don't mind at first, but it wasn't long before they got tired of Toad singing. Oh my, i never seen someone singing on the Little Western like this before. This is what happens when Toad's in a good mood, Duck, said Douglas. Sorry, Mr. Duck, I didn't mean to get you upset. I know, Toad, but perhaps it would be best if we do our work quietly. As they were approaching the next station, Toad saw something that made his eyes wide open. It was a whale, washed up on the beach. He tried to explain to Douglas, but Douglas didn't hear. Ah, I don't even know what you're talking about, Toad. I never seen a whale. Anyway, you got work to do, and I got mine too. Toad felt sad as he was coupled up to Oliver and made their way back along the Little Western. Toad looked out at the sand, trying to look for the whale, but he couldn't find it. Something the matter, Toad, said Oliver. Oh, nothing really, Mr. Oliver. You know, I really wanted to sing, but I don't think that would be necessary, given that Mr. Duck didn't like my singing. Oh, Duck has his ways, Toad. And I got to admit, I quite like your singing, but I think you should do it at the right moment. I know, Mr. Oliver, but... Earlier, I saw a whale. I tried to explain to Douglas, but he didn't believe me. Oliver was about to reply when suddenly he saw something and slammed on his brakes. What's wrong, Mr. Oliver? I don't believe it. There is a whale, Toad. Oh, you were right. How long has it been there? From what I last time I saw it, it was been a couple of minutes. Well, that's not good. Oliver picked up speed stopped at the next station, and his driver phoned for the rescue service. A fire engine arrived at the scene. Oliver and Toad brought in water tankers to keep the whale cool. Duck, Donald and Douglas were also there. They couldn't believe it. Butch the tow truck was going to try to move the whale towards the water. But there was a problem. It's too far away from the sea. I don't think I would be able to drag all the way there. We will have to find another way to get the whale into the sea, said Butch. The fire engine agreed. Oliver and Toad watched as the workmen covered the whale in a sheet to keep it cool from the hot sun. At the harbour, all the engines discussed about the whale until Salty arrived. What's going on here? Toad explained what happened. Oh dear, that's not good. We need to get the whale moved as soon as possible to the water. It can't stay on land for too long. Yes, I know, but what if we could carry the whale by rail and take it to here? That's a brilliant idea, Toad, said Salty. Go and tell the others. And so Toad did. They all agreed with Toad's idea. Donald and Douglas brought in Rocky and then slowly and carefully, Rocky lifted the whale onto a flatbed. Toad noticed the whale was looking sad. Oh dear, he must be lonely and shy, scared. We only wish I could... Maybe I can. Then, Toad began to sing. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oliver heard. He looked back and see the whale was smiling. It's working, Toad. Keep going! The engines popped slowly towards the harbour as Toad continued to sing and the whale smiled. When they reached the harbour, Rocky lifted the whale out of the flatbed and carefully dropped it into the sea. The engines watched as the whale swam away. We did it, Mr. Oliver, said Toad. Yes, all because of you, said Oliver. The others agreed. Toad does continue to sing from time to time, but he never forget the day that he saved the whale. Whenever he looked out to the sea, he will often sing as a reminder of he saving the whale. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea, sigh. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea.